and we have lift off. Uh, uh, uh. Well, that's stable. It just doesn't care. All right, now that should give us some control and direction. It has been perfected. Uh, uh. All right, so what I've done is I've added sensors to the thrusters and lowered them a bit so it has enough clearance and then I've added suspension to the thrusters to add a bit of um, stability and it stays quite quite stable surprisingly now I found that it didn't like it wasn't quite low enough and didn't give enough clearance so I've raised it up a bit and lowered the sensors perfect that should be good enough, I think. Alright, let's just test out the crap. Oops. Alright, that seems to be holding well. It kind of like corrects itself even if it's being pushed off to an angle, which is cool. And it doesn't seem to give a shit. See? <laughs> you know, as many blocks as you want, it just doesn't really care. Holds. Oh, that's cool. Oh, eventually, eventually. So I'm thinking of using bearings to give certain sides less and more clearance with the sensors, and that should be able to give me some control. So I'm going to create some sort of piston. Uh, with the bearings. Now if I can put two bearings on, I have to give enough clearance so they don't rub against each the other blocks. But if I put two bearings on, it should work. Then I'll put the sensor below that. No, I need to set it up a bit more. Okay. Yeah, it's got to stay in like the same kind of direction. It can't be moving like this. You'll see what I mean when I do it. All right, that should be good. Wrong way. Need to invert it. So I just put. This one's a bit complicated. I've started them off in the wrong way, that's why. Okay, that should be good. That's what I want, so they'll be down to begin with, and then I push them up to make the to make the platform lean and turn around. Now I'm gonna evenly distribute the switches and buttons. Alright, so this is how I did it. Bit of clearance. And then connect it up so it holds it in place while you do it. Like so. And another one for a bit more clearance. And that should be good. Make sure it's facing down. Right. 90 degrees and negative 90. Let's try that. Okay, oh yeah, that's the wrong way. There we go, I just inverted it there. Perfect, okay, so I'll do the other two. Cool. You can see how it's adjusting there. It keeps itself stable pretty well. All right, so I'll go ahead and add the ch driving chair, driver's chair. Now I'm just making sure it's symmetrical. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it is good. Okay, now I connect it up. I'm going to do it clockwise, so I know it's easy to figure out. So one, two, three, four. Easy peasy. Oh, cool. Let's try this out. Oh, delete that, it's in the way. Okay. So one, two, three, four, push them up. 
Yeah, they seem to be working, but it's not. It's too heavy, I think. Uh oh. I'll just lower the um them by one block each, just to give a bit more clearance. And get rid of a bit of weight. There we go. See, it's hovering now. Alright, sweet. So it's hovering. And yep, it gives you it goes higher up when I do that, so that's good. Now if I lower it. Okay, I drop, good. Let's see if I can turn it. I'm just lowering the front too. That moves it. So the thrusters are initiating later than the back ones. And that's tilting it. Cool. Flying this is a bit difficult, I must say. It's hitting the ground quite a bit, so lifting it up would be a good idea. Getting rid of weight. So I'll lower it again by one more block. That should give more clearance. And it shouldn't hit the ground quite as much. Yeah. Reverse. Alright, well that's working. Mostly. I mean you could always just chuck on thrusters on the sides and go forwards and back, but this is just a bit more interesting, I think. Alright, so I've done it the complicated way, now I'm going to do it the simple way. I've got four buttons, four thrusters, and I've got a key for each one, so this is how you'd make most basic hovercraft themable. Except it's all manual, you have to tap it. Oh, shit. Alright, let's try it again. Get some air, maybe. That would help. Straight up we go. That'll give us a bit of room. Uh, uh. It's a small tap, so it doesn't over adjust. I wish you could really, I really wish you could lower the sensitivity on these thrusters, it's just a bit frustrating at the moment. Also the key bindings, like, <laughs> trying to figure out which is which. Uh, hi, uh. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Well, it works. Okay, so what I've done here is I've created an off switch for this, and um, <coughs> basically it just turns the sensors outwards so it's not touching anything, as you'll see in a sec, and off. They just stick outwards, see? I just added an extra bearing, that's all. Perfect. Alright, so I thought, okay, made it the complicated way, now just to try the basic adding thrusters and pushing it in the direction you want to go. The problem with this, it pushes down a lot, I mean, I can always balance it out. I guess lowering the, uh, or lifting up the back sensors and then pushing forward at the same time might even it. Uh, mm. Let's try again. Uh. Good thing about Holocross, you just go over stuff. <laughs> and fall over even easier. Also placing the um, elevator, once you're on top of it, it's a lot easier. It deletes automatically since you only have one. So that's pretty good to know. Alright, well, um, I mean, 
it works. It's just only just. I think a few more improvements. Decreasing the weight, but then again, like lowering the sensors would help as well. Need some tinkering, but it's a cool concept. And they're gonna update the game soon, hopefully, and add some more logic to make things easier. But for now, we'll get rid of those. Oh, and my chair. Good job. Good job. Alright, well, good luck. Hope you enjoyed watching it and seeing my concept in action. Hopefully you can make a bit of hovercraft. Or something similar, but with uh, more improvements. Alright, we'll see you later. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. Bye.